Here's a view from one of our cameras in our network from Top Golf overlooking the 5920 bridge. The clouds are moving in. The temperatures feel very mild though, upper 50s and low 60s. The rain chances, they're going to pick up. Notice that they move up significantly after 9 p.m. tonight. That heavy rainfall is going to pick up uh, certainly, and our weather is going to take a big flip in the next 24 to 36 hours. The cloudy skies and 62 degrees, some dry air underneath. That's what's preventing us from seeing any rain right now. But on the satellite and radar composite, you are already beginning to see that there is a weather maker coming into play from Memphis to Jackson to New Orleans. And everywhere that we see the cloudiness and the rain, the temperatures are very mild. But notice the single digits are already creeping into the northern tier of the country. That's that strong Arctic blast that's going to dive southward behind the front. So here's how it plays out. This is your future cast showing a little bit of spotty showers and then turning a little bit more on and off rain by about 6 or 7 p.m. tonight. Likely this cluster of uh, thunder showers begins to come together just a bit more after midnight tonight. So as Christmas Eve begins, the heavy rainfall will as well. The heaviest rainfall along the I-65 corridor between about 3 and 5 o'clock in the morning and then looking at it still sticking around through about 6 or 7 p.m. Now we're going to be in the 40s at this point. So once the cloudiness and the showers kick up this evening, we're pretty much going to stay at that temperature until the rain ends. Notice the rain still sticking around through roughly about lunch on Christmas Eve, but the animation's not over yet. We're looking, of course, at the future, future cast that shows 6 p.m. Christmas Eve, the winds start whipping, that colder air starts diving south, and so a couple of flakes may mix in as that cold air starts to dive south. So there must be a bunch of kiddos that have been wishing for snowflakes because I'm starting to see it now coming up into the forecast models, but it will not stick because we're not frozen solid prior to and we're drying out right after the rain. It's moving in tonight. Christmas Day will be frigid, upper 30s. And in your seven-day forecast, those are your two impact days. Rainy uh, overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. And then into uh, Christmas morning, very cold. Back to you.